So this one's really painful. When your child, who is an adult, seems to display narcissistic tendencies, and worse, when you think they're a full-blown narcissist. My name is Lise Colucci, and I am here to help you understand and heal your life after toxic relationships, toxic upbringings, toxic family. Okay, you guys, super painful. People have asked me to talk about this often, and it's a difficult one to talk about because we're talking about your own children. We're talking about the human being that you raise, that you love, that is, you, you know, your family, your child, they grow up and as an adult, they behave toxic. They have narcissistic traits, narcissistic tendencies, oftentimes a narcissistic other parent, right? And so you see the behavior in this child of yours. And instead of having a beautiful relationship with them, you have a tumultuous one where they are always trying to manipulate and control you, where they are damaging and toxic to you, where they literally abuse you with their words and their actions. And this is your kid, right? So what do you do? If you have experienced this, first of all, I am sorry this is in your life and that this is what's going on and that the pain from this is bigger than a lot of people can even imagine, okay? This is a sensitive and very difficult topic. So if you need help, please seek it out. I'm going to start there. Find therapy, get coaching, use peer support, whatever it is you need to get yourself some self-care and a foundation of recognizing that you as a human being are a good person. And this is a circumstance in life that is out of your control and that you can work through to find some peace for yourself Maybe not in, in the relationship with this person, but outside of the relationship so that your whole life is not wrapped up around this dynamic forever, okay? Here's the thing. People say, how am I supposed to go no contact with my kid? You know what? That's up to you. I don't know what you're supposed to do. I know that each person is individual and each relationship is unique. And so that is a choice you have to make in your life for yourself. And if you choose that, if you don't choose that, please get support. This is a difficult thing. This is more than my parent is a narcissist. This is my child is a narcissist. This is supposed to be a relationship that is that you have nurtured and cared for and taken care of its whole life. Like from the moment that child's born, you've loved and cared for this child. And now they have turned on you. Not an easy place. It is very difficult. Okay, so I'm going to keep this video pretty short as an introduction to this topic. And what I'm going to ask is if you have had this happen, if this is going on in your life, please leave a comment. Let me know what questions you have. Let me know any stories you want to share so that we can make more videos on this topic. Sometimes in these relationships that we're not willing to or able to, or it just doesn't feel right to let go of, such as a narcissistic child that you're not ready to go no contact with. The only answer can be boundaries, self-care, having your own support system, your own life, and recognizing that this relationship is never going to be what you hoped it could be and reconciling with that so that you can have whatever relationship is actually there without the manipulation. Boundaries are important, you guys. It's the same as dealing with your narcissistic parents where that you don't want to go no contact with, if that is your choice, where you can't just have the relationship you wish you had with them. And so you have to find other things in your life to create a life for yourself so that your whole life is not about this toxic other person. If you have other children who are not displaying narcissistic traits and treat you pretty good. It, you may feel all kinds of things like guilt that you're focusing on them and not on the narcissistic person or guilt that you're having to put so much attention on that narcissistic child instead of the ones who are being kind to you, right? It's never easy, okay? So this is what I'm saying. I mean, without some sort of support, without some sort of talking it through and a place to vent and a place to express what you feel and find strategy for dealing with this toxic adult child of yours. Without strategy, you're on your own. And that is scary because it's not just your mind that has to come up with the strategies. Your heart has to kind of agree with the implementing of those strategies. You cannot go into it open 
and innocent and kind and hope that it's going to get better because it won't. If a child is an adult and they are displaying narcissistic traits, all you can do is hope they change, hope they grow out of it if they're young enough, right? And they have life experiences enough to teach them to not be that way. But it is no longer yours to fix. You can only improve the relationship with them by creating boundaries. And that may not improve the relationship, but it may improve your ability to withstand the relationship. Okay, so not allowing them to call you names, not allowing them to have certain topics that they talk about that they continually come at you for or blame you for, not taking the blame for the things in their life that didn't go right. Okay, it's it's important to understand that this adult person is now responsible for their adult life and fixing their adult issues, okay? And that you are no longer the parent of a small child. What happens is if someone is displaying narcissistic traits, emotionally, they are acting like small children, like we all know about all people who act narcissistic. So imagine yourself in any other relationship with this person. How would you deal with it? That's how you deal with it, okay? It's it's difficult because you have to cut off that emotional tie you have to being their parent without cutting off the emotional tie to being their parent. It's not an it's not simple, all right. Um, if you are choosing to go no contact, then that's a whole nother can of worms, right? Like it's really putting you in an, in a no win situation with your own child. So. I'm telling you, I I can sympathize, empathize, and understand how difficult this is. And I'd like to keep talking more about it. So again, hit me up with questions in the comment section that or anything you want to talk about related to this so we can keep talking. And if you do need group coaching, coaching, or peer support, check out the information in every video. And I will see you guys next time.